I'm here with I'm here with Republican strategist Jeffrey Lord. We're here at the Mastriano campaign. It's a quite the environment here. In the closing stages of the race and especially throughout the election, what was Mastriano's message to his followers? Oh, I think freedom and liberty, sort of standard conservative fare that I think a lot of people in Pennsylvania, after all the lockdowns and people losing their businesses and all of this. People are pretty upset, and so they responded to Doug's message, you know, very strongly, as I think you can see here tonight. And earlier before the concert, there was a, a prayer. Has, has faith and religion played a role in this election? Oh, I think religion has always been around. Uh, it may get more of a look now, but I remember I worked, I worked for President Reagan, and when he ran for office for president in 1980, everybody was all a buzz that Jerry Falwell was supporting Ronald Reagan. So this has been around for some time. And if elected governor, what do you think would be the, the first issues that Doug Mastriano would try to tackle? Oh, there's so many. I, I saw today that he said if he's elected governor, he will make a point of setting up the coal plants and, and all of this and overruling the Biden administration. I think that's one of the interesting things about this. We, we give a lot of attention to senators and congressmen, but the governors have a lot of power. And I noticed that in Arizona, Carrie Lake is saying, regardless of what Biden is doing, she's going to make sure there's a wall built. And uh, I think that Doug Mastriano is in that path. He's got a lot of clout here. And so if he's governor, so uh, working on the Pennsylvania energy sector, I think is going to be a very big priority for him. All right, Jeffrey Lord, Republican Stratus, thanks for joining. Okay.